Color Changing Snake Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish featuring Madame Glim. Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how I made this color changing snake print and I painted a snake as well using Madame Glam's color changing gel polish. So check out their website, there is a discount code in the description box and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So here's the nail tips going into warm water where the color, the background color is going to lighten and become kind of a milky clear shade and then in cool water it darkens back to that really rich magenta color. So then here's the warm water again and cool water. So I'm going to be applying, a, if you're doing this on your own nails, apply base gel and then cure. And so now I'm gonna be applying one coat of Love Me Crazy by Madame Glam, and then I'm going to cure. This is just a really pretty creamy pink color that had amazing coverage. And then I'm going to apply a second coat, but I'm just gonna do it on the lower two thirds about of the nail of Love Me Crazy. And then on the top area by the cuticle, I'm using Love on Top, which is basically the same color. It just has a little bit of glitter mixed in. So that creates a very subtle glitter gradient down the nail. And then once you're happy with it, cure it again in your UV lamp or your LED lamp. So now once my nail is cured and all ready, I'm going to be painting a snake. So I'm going to start with a medium green, sort of a grass green color, and I'm going to paint the top of his face there. So you want to create just a smooth line, but then add a little bump for where his eye socket would be. And then the bottom of his jaw. And then his neck behind it. And it probably looks like there's this huge gaping spot where his mouth would be. And I'm going to add that later with white. And then add just a little bit more of his body below it. So it looks like he's wrapping around the nail tip. So now with a brighter shade of green, I'm just going to go through and I'm going to highlight. So I'm going to go over pretty much everything with this lighter green and just sort of blend it in. And I'm, you know, making it nice and bright looking. I don't want it too dark. So then as I mentioned, I'm going to be filling in his mouth with some white paint. And so I'm going to thicken up where, so you can see the inside of the other side of his jaw. And then the top, the top part of his mouth. And then I'm going to blend in some gray, or some black to create gray. And so I'm just going to, while that white is still wet, I'm just going to take a tiny amount of black and just blend it in so that I get a nice varied shade of gray. So it's not such a flat appearance, it has different areas that are a little bit darker and a little bit lighter and then just a tad of pink in there too to make him look like he's actually living not just so gray so then I'm going to outline his jaw with some white paint and add his fangs With more of that really bright green paint, I'm going to now add his eye. And since the other time we used the green, it was blended in, the eye is still going to show up nice and bright. So now I'm going to be adding details with black. And so I'm going to add just a little bit of a scale detail on his face and on his body. I'm not going to do too much or be too crazy worried about it because I don't want his scales to be the focus of this particular nail. I want it to be his eye and his mouth being open and attacking. So I'm just going to lightly go over and do his scales and then I'm going to outline his eye and add that vertical pupil and now I'm going to be adding a layer of Madame Glam's gel top coat and curing it and then with a little bit of Madame Glam's no white top no wipe top coat I'm going to be painting over my snake and I'm just using a really small brush so I took some out and put it on a piece of foil so that I could just grab it with the brush easy and the reason that I want him to be shiny is because he's really going to show up and be very vivid that way and Madame Glam's top coat is a little bit thicker and a little bit more honey-like in consistency. So it does stay a little bit raised when you cure it and it gives the nail a 3D effect. So now I'm going to be applying two coats of Love Me Crazy curing after each coat on my other nail tip. And because I'm going to be covering this nail with so much with the snake print, I didn't figure that having glitter on there would be... I don't know, it wouldn't show. So I just decided that the creamy color would be better. And so I applied two coats and cured, and in my, I have a UV lamp, so it's two minutes in each, after each coat. 
So then once that's cured, I'm going to paint over the entire nail with a layer of um, that medium grass, grass green acrylic paint. And it's very important to use acrylic paint here. So then I'm going to add a second coat. And then while that second coat is still wet, I'm going to be applying some black paint onto the sides of it to create a subtle gradient. So just add some black and then run your brush up and down the nail until it's a nice smooth gradient. So with Madame Glam's gel top coat, their no wipe top coat, I'm going to be painting my snake skin pattern. So I'm going to start with some wide bar shapes and I'm just going to paint those down the center of the nail. And I am so sorry that it's so hard to see what I'm doing. Um, I will put a link in the description box that explains the snake pattern, how it, how it works, how it looks, how an easy way of painting it. I have another video that goes further in depth and I'll put that in the description box, a link to it. So if you want to see more in more detail how I go about painting snake print, definitely check that one out. So once you have all of your little scales down the center, then add smaller ones on the sides just to fill in the rest of the nail tip. And you want to make sure to leave a generous space between each scale. So then with a nail cleanser, I'm going to just clean the nail plate. And I know you don't have to with their tap coat, but this is going to remove all of that green paint between the scales and leave you with a really cool effect. So then I'm covering the entire nail with a layer of their the matte top coat and curing it. And then I really wanted my scales to be shiny, so I repainted over them once again with more of the glossy no wipe top coat. Just because I wanted them to be shiny, you could definitely um, leave them as they were, that'd be fine. Or if you wanted the entire nail shiny, you could just use the um, the glossy top coat from the beginning but doing it this way you get that 3d effect and if you feel it it feels amazing when you have those different layers of top coat on there it just it feels so cool because it's got that 3d scale scale feel to it so after you cure that you're all set i hope you like this design please share any recreations with me on facebook twitter and instagram i would really love to see them and also there's a discount code in the description box as i mentioned earlier so check that out and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.